Hi friends, today is rainbow day. The beach is a really good place to see rainbows. I love rainbows. I get super excited when I see one after the rain. Um, and I thought this would be a fun way to kind of wrap up our last week of ESY. One thing I just always want to mention is when I send you videos or links or things like that, make sure you only go to the link that I've sent you. Sometimes there can be pop-up ads and things like that. Don't ever click on those. You only click on the link that a grown-up or a teacher or whoever sends you to, okay? So when you open up the presentation, it's going to look like this. And let me just actually make mine look bigger too. And then, you know, when I record these screencasts and I have it like this, I can't actually click the links that you are going to click, um, but let's get going. Rainbow Day, there's going to be a whole bunch of videos and activities and things like that. So if you want to do some specific projects, this is like a prep list. This is a list of the things that you would want to have. I didn't actually include the link for the rainbow snack, the Rice Krispie Treats, um, because that's probably not something that everybody has on hand. But if you want to make them, you can look it up on Pinterest or you can just email me and I'll just send you the slides for that one. Super fun if you do do it. I like Rice Krispies Treats, but I like anything with sugar and butter and carbs. Um, <laughs> first thing that we're going to do to get ourselves going is we're going to do a go noodle with a rainbow breath. And we're going to focus on our breathing and practice our mindfulness and become really, really present, which is something that I definitely try and do when I see a rainbow. I try to be reminded to take a deep breath and think about how lucky I am and how awesome our world is and the people who I have in my world, all of that good stuff. What I want you to think about is what do you know about rainbows? Okay, what's a fact that you know about rainbows? And you're gonna be able to type right in the slide. And then an opinion is how you feel about rainbows. So a fact would be that rainbows appear in the sky. That's a fact. That's true. Everybody can say that rainbows can appear in the sky. I think rainbows are awesome. Okay, that's an opinion. Not everybody agrees with me. I'm not quite sure who doesn't agree with me, but I guess there's people out there who don't. And what's a question that you have about rainbows? Well, one of my questions is, how come sometimes I see different colors in rainbows? Like sometimes I can see like red and yellow and orange and blue really, really clearly. But the um, like the yellow, like the orangish and the purplish, sometimes they blend together a little bit more. What's a question that you have about rainbows? Next, you are going to learn some more about rainbows and how they're formed and how the way that a rainbow is created, it, it has to do with the way that the light refracts um, off of the sun or off of the sky. And there are different ways that we can make rainbows, even if it doesn't rain. There are different crystals that you can use, and then there's water that you can use, and you're going to learn some facts and information about how rainbows are created. Once you've watched that video, you're going to go to these slides and you're going to um, click true or false when you see each of these facts. And then on the next page, it'll tell you the answer. White light is made up of six different colors. Is that true or is that false? I agree. Okay, we've done this dance before. I'm actually a super big fan of it. It's one of my favorite Go Noodles, the Awesome Rainbows. I'm also a big fan of the Banana Banana Meatball one, if you get a chance to watch it. Um, but you're gonna go ahead and do this rainbow dance and get some movement, get some wiggles out. All right, and then the last thing that I wanna show you, super cool, is Rainbow Dominoes. This is just like wild to watch, so cool. Okay, how can you make a rainbow? You can use a clear glass of water and a piece of paper. It does have to be sunny out. I'm recording this in advance, so I don't exactly know the weather. It's super sunny today. Today is Sunday, um, but I do think some rain is supposed to come in this weekend. So um, I'm not too sure if it's going to be sunny on Wednesday when you view this video, but hopefully you'll find some sun. If not, you'll do it another time. Okay, if you get the opportunity to do the experiments in your house, you're gonna go ahead and write the steps. We've been talking a lot about sequencing lately and what happens first, next, then, and finally. You can also write it as first, second, or third. Um, 
that this is an opportunity for you to practice your sequencing writing if you do the experiment. Okay, next we're gonna go and do some rainbow yoga. Feeling good. This is a read aloud of everyone's favorite rainbow fish. If you've heard this book before, then you know that it's a good one. It's about friendship. It's about being who you are. It's about um, honoring like what's special about everybody. It's just such a good book. I love, love, love rainbow fish. Okay, what's the problem in rainbow fish? We've talked about how a lot of books, especially narrative books, have a problem and a solution. So what was Rainbow Fish's problem? He was a little bit upset about the scale, right? The sparkly one. And what was the solution? How did he solve his problem? It has something to do with being a good friend with his friends. And... Last activity is another movement activity. You'll watch this video and you're gonna jump, 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 jump around. How many times are you gonna jump? Count. Last but not least, this is an optional activity. A lot of times we do directed drawings. I love doing them with you guys and I've noticed that you guys really, really like them. So we included this, which is how to draw a rainbow. All right, I hope you guys have an awesome time doing these activities for Rainbow Day. I can't wait to see what you've made. Show me some pictures on Seesaw or send me some comments in Google Classroom.